Well, I got in a little bit of trouble this week uh, from the site and from the readers and the listeners. Apparently, there are those who feel as if I do not necessarily report with full journalistic integrity. Me? No journalistic integrity? Really? Really? Now, uh, I don't know about all y'all, but um, when they said that, that I didn't have any journalistic integrity, the first thing that I did is, uh, I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is. So I looked it up, and um, the Bible, a.k.a. Wikipedia, basically told me that it has to do with ethics and standards and something about truthfulness, accuracy, objectivity, impartiality fairness, and public accountability. Well, if there's a sentence that sums me up, I mean, guys, let's be honest. I am the definition of journalistic integrity. I would never support a wrestler because of my own biases, because of my own likes and dislikes. Oh, sure, I I hear what you're saying already, but David, that's me. Hi. Um, David, I, but you really like Paul London. Well, I don't like Paul London. I just know he's the best. And so I'm a fan. Journalistic integrity. But David, what about Alicia Fox? Well, she's probably the worst women's wrestler to ever step into the ring. No bias. Journalistic integrity. Yep. Journalistic integrity. So... So I'm going to take this new mantra of mine of being completely professional and uh, honest with y'all. And so I've decided to look at NXT Season 3 and choose the diva who I truly believe deserves, deserves to win. This is not taking into account any personal preferences. It's all about ability. And I definitely did not factor in looks at all. My choice, A.J. Lee. Why, you may ask? Adam, you don't don't need to show him that, really, do you? Is that necessary? We don't... (sighs) This is, uh... It's a little awkward. It's, uh... But just because I've met her talk to her, taking a picture. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't really mean anything, right? Right? Journalistic integrity? <laughs> <laughs>